Today was the last day of my two-week free webinar. Now, we covered reorder paragraphs. This task is hard to get all the points, so that's why we're focusing on trying to get as many points as possible without really trying to reorder that paragraph. And if you want to follow along with this webinar without confusion, you might want to watch the tutorials that I made for the scoring breakdown of the reorder paragraphs and the techniques that I'm going to expand on um, from the previous video that I made. So if you want to watch that, I'll link it above and below. Feel free to check it out. Now, just because I said it was the last day doesn't mean I'm not going to do any more free webinars. I'm going to continue. Wednesdays, 2 p.m. Sydney time. But this time, I'm going to limit the participants. It's easier to manage that way. And the, the following webinar, next Wednesday, is already full. But if you want to enroll in the following one, um, go to my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, okay, at Sunny English. And I will make a posting for when the enrollment will be open again for the following um, webinar. And you'll know when I go live on Instagram or when I do score assessments. All right, so y'all ready for this? Let's get into it. I'm going to continue on the techniques that I've already talked about on YouTube. That, that also um, allows me to, um, to, to practice with you guys using those techniques because there are other things that I do in the reorder paragraphs that add to um, helping us um, link the sentences together. So I'm limiting to what I talk about to what I have already talked about on YouTube. It's not going to work every single time because you have to adjust. You have to adjust yourself to what you are given. So I'm going to give you practices where you'll see today that we will divide it and conquer it. All right. So we're going to pair them up, separate them out, pair them up, and then we put it in order. All right. And the most important things you want to look for is that the, okay? The, the, the. It is so important. And people always overlook this. All right. Why is this important? The reason is because this tells you two important things. I have already mentioned this before, right? In the tutorial. I'm giving you a little bit more underneath, though. I'm giving you a little bit more. Now, why is this important? First of all, if I say to you right now, I saw the movie. Do you know what movie I'm talking about? Yes or no? You do, Gabriella. What movie am I talking about? Did we watch it together? What are we talking? What am I talking about? <laughs> you don't know what movie I'm talking about, right? So what does that mean? If you see the plus something, the plus the noun. By now we know what nouns are. You see, all all comes back to us. If you see the plus the noun, like I saw the movie. You don't know what I'm talking about. That means done. It's not the first sentence, right? That's obvious. Again, there's a lot of clues that will tell you it is not the first sentence. But that's not why I'm pointing this out. Why I'm pointing this out is because as soon as you find out what the is, we have a pair. Okay, that's very important, okay? If I say I saw the movie, you don't know what I'm talking about. But as soon as you find out what movie I am talking about, we have just created a pair. And I don't even care where you put that pair. You will have a point. Okay, you will have a point. These things down here are to tell you that the is not every time you see the is going to help you, all right? There will be exceptions to the rule. I told you English has a lot of rules. And sometimes we break them. Now, the right here, these does, when you see them, they're not going to help you, okay? When you see the plus a name, don't think anything of it. That's not going to help you. How do we know? How do you know when you see something that is a name? The name. How do you know? Oh, there you go. Capital letter. All right. Capital letter. So if you see the plus a capital letter, please don't think, oh, I'm going to link that to something. No, you're not. All right. Let it go. What it can tell you is that might be the first sentence, but we're not worried about that. And the same thing goes for these things. All right. The first, the last, the best, the most. These things don't help you, all right? These are called ordinals. If you don't know what they are, look it up. Ordinals need to have the in the front. These are called superlatives. Superlatives needs to have the in the front. It, does ha it has no reference to links, okay? It doesn't mean it's linking anything, all right? And then this right here, the phrase. What does that mean, the phrase? Noun phrase. 
preposition noun, right? The noun of noun, the noun in noun, the noun for noun, anything you create that's a phrase that doesn't always link. Most of the time, the phrase doesn't link. All right, so I just wanted to point that out. But I'll show you as you see it. I want to see visuals, okay? So I'll show it to you and you know what I'm talking about. The next thing would be this right here. Pronouns. Pronouns. The whole time we're looking at the fill in the blanks, we don't look at pronouns. We just look at nouns. Why? Because you know PT is not going to test you with pronouns on the fill in the blanks, right? So now we need to know what pronouns are. And I listed that at the bottom. Do you see it? He, she, it, they, this, that, these, those. Why are these important? Well, let's say this. I like this. Let me say that sentence right now. I like this. Do you know what this is? Gabriella, do you know what this is? <laughs> I like this. <laughs> All right. There you go. It links. It links because you don't know what this is. Okay, but you got to be careful with pronouns. If a pronoun is in the beginning of the sentence, most of the time, you don't know what it is, right? But if they put a pronoun in the back of the sentence, it might be just linking to something in the same sentence, all right? But we'll, we'll see some examples of pronouns later, all right? So pronouns reference a noun. However, however, let's take a look at this. I said I like this, and you didn't know what this was. What if I said I like this phone? I like this phone. Does this still represent a noun? Yes or no? No. No more. No more. This is not a noun. What is the noun? Phone. Phone is the noun. So what happened to that pronoun? The pronoun became an article, right? When I say this, if I say I like this phone, how many am I talking about? One or more? One. There you go. It's just like a or the, right? It's an article, a or the, but we treat it like it's the. So a pronoun can be like the, okay? So these two things somewhat interconnect. These two things serve the same purpose. What do they do? Well, it tells you, first of all, it won't be the first sentence, right? It won't be the first sentence. Um, but we don't care about that. that that's, that's a given. There's so many ways to find out whether or not something can be a first sentence. What it also does is create that link for you. Okay, and that's what we want. We want to pair things up, and then we go and try and find the orders. All right, so let's do some of that practice today. Let's take a look at this. We're going to move backwards, okay? Let me let the people in. All right, so can you take a look at this sentence? We're going to move backwards. This is number five. We're going to move up to number one. And every sentence, this, I took this one because every sentence has a reference. Can you read this sentence for me and tell me if you find either the or pronoun? This, lack, okay? So this lack of something. So this lack of adequate currency, what does that mean when you say lack of adequate currency? Let's just say lack currency. What does that mean? Not enough. Very good. Not enough. Somebody pointed out it was right here, right? Very good. But this it right here is actually just giving it here. So that's why I'm not paying much attention. It was necessary. It was deemed necessary. What is it? This is. Okay. We have to remedy this lack of um, currency. So not enough. Not enough. So let's look at the sentence before it. That means the sentence before needs to mention something about not enough currency. Can you find that phrase or that's that word for me? Look at that. Short supply, right? Short supply. Did it not reference that right away? Did it not reference that? Right? There you go. I'm going to highlight this for you, okay? This lack of adequate currency. Let's change that color. Okay, let's just use this one for now. So short supply, what's short supply? Coinage, which is short, short supply, right? There's your lack. Okay, now, we're not done yet. This is the bottom. We still have to connect to the top, right? Can you look at this sentence and see if this sentence also has a the or a pronoun? Oh, shit. We have this bank right here. What does that mean? That means the sentence before 
better tell us what that bank is, right? You feel me? This this is the sequence that we're going to go in, right? So if we look at here, what bank are they talking about? What bank are they talking about? Bank of Scotland, right here, right? Bank of Scotland. Okay, so let me highlight this for you to see the link. Now we see the link, right? Did I mention, I mentioned this earlier, right? When I said, when we see this bank, the bank, whatever it is, we don't know what it is. But as soon as we find out what it is, we have a pair. And we have done that twice now, right? Um, we still not finished. We still not finished. Let's read this sentence and see if we can find a the or a pronoun. No, Gabriella, no, 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 no. We don't do it that way. No, absolutely not. I'm just showing you step by step. We will do it together later. No, definitely don't do it this way. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys see another article or another the or pronoun in here? Ladies and gentlemen, the first. Okay. I want to point this out to you. Remember what I said about the? Remember what I said about the? Things that will not help you? Right here. This will not help you. Right? Still here. Sorry, I went ahead. <laughs> so to do this, to do this, remember when I said I like this? Do you know what this is? What are they talking about? Do what? Do this? What does that mean? That means the sentence above, the sentence above needs to tell you what this is. What is this? What are they doing? What are they doing? Allowed to issue banknotes. Okay. You guys see that? Okay. You guys see how the sequence went, right? See how the sequence went. Now we have one more sentence and I'll just put that to the, um, to the top. Okay. And this one, usually when you, there's a lot of clues, right? There's a lot of clues that can eliminate or not for the first sentence. So today the focus is not trying to find the first sentence. So if you had gotten all these four correct, because you see this connection between one to another, right? If you have gotten all four of these correct, you would have three points so far. Okay, three points. And then this right here, if you put it in the wrong place, so what? You still get three. But however, if I say put it in the wrong place, I don't mean you put it in between any of these because you have a pair. You created those pairs. So the only wrong place you can put this is at the end. So you either put this at one or five, right? Because you will not split up pairs just to try to put something in there. Because I just showed you how the and the pronoun created those pairs. Have you seen this question before, ladies and gentlemen? Have any of you seen um, this reorder paragraphs before? Yes. Where? This YouTube. Oh, shit. Okay. This is from PTE's um, official mock exam. Yeah, it's from PTE. It's their official question. It's one of the official questions in the PTE mock exam. I didn't make this shit up, <laughs> okay? All right, good. See, it came on. It came on the exam for you. And again, I'm not making this shit up just to impress you, to show you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You can use this. Nope. We just applied the technique that I talked about, and um, and work backwards here, right? If you start from the first, you can. There's nothing stopping you from doing that, right? But that's the technique everybody teaches. That's the technique everybody wants to go with. But tell me, once you find that first sentence. What does that do for you? How many points do you get? Zero. Nothing. Why don't we do that later then? <laughs> right? Let's get some points. So by finding the first sentence, it doesn't actually give you points. And that means you are trying to reorder five sentences. That will make it harder. So I'm going to show you why. Today we're going to be practicing that. Where you don't always have to start with the first sentence. You can if you want to. If you have trouble finding the first sentence, or if you right away you see pairs, then stop thinking that one direction going first sentence, first sentence, because you don't score a point when you do that, right? And um, this right here is from the PTE uh, official mock exam. Some of you said you have seen it on the real exam. There you go. They recycle their stuff, right? So let's take a look at this right here. Do we have anything? If you see this sentence right away, does something jump out at you? 
Of course, right? Not the first sentence. Again, who cares about that, right? The conference is the thing that's going to jump out at you. Why? Because you know that this sentence is referring to some kind of conference. And as soon as you find out what the conference is, you have a pair, right? So let's take a look at this sentence. What conference are they talking about? Yeah, actually, don't type it. That's a lie. But Commerce Career Readiness Conference. Do you see that? Co Arts and Commerce Career Readiness Conference. There's your conference right there. And there's your link, right? There is your link. So when you see the the, plain and simple like that, you got to make sure that we focus on it. It's going to help you create that pair. And Let's say we don't know how to reorder everything else. Well, no matter what, you got a point right here. Let's make sure, and, and it doesn't even matter where you put this. You can put this as one, two, four, five. It doesn't matter. You will still get that point, okay? And that's what we want to focus on today where we're not trying to just find the first sentence. We're trying to find points, okay? That's, like I said, I'm showing you one of the strategies that I have. I'm not showing you everything that I do today. That would be too much information anyways, right? We only have one hour. We can't cover everything. Let's focus on one thing. And then you can start to improve others as well. But this is one thing you want to improve. Let's take a look at this right here. I am, and this is the first one that we're doing together. I am going to highlight the does and the pronouns for you. And then I want you to put it in order for me. All right? So, I'm going to say this early Pope, that's important because I don't know what the hell they're talking about, right? And I want to highlight this pagan festival because I don't know what festival they're talking about, right? And I, oops, and I want to highlight the holidays roots because I don't know what holiday they're talking about. Wow, I just found three sentences with either a the or a pronoun. I want to find the pairs. What is this connecting to? Somebody pointed this out, the history of Valentine's Day. What does this pair with? Four and five? Four and five? Excellent job. Excellent job. So I'm going to call this X1 and X2, okay? That's what we're going to label it. All right, let's find this. Where's this? What festival are they talking about? This pagan festival. Which sentence has the festival? X2. There you go. X2 has the festival, right? See, look, it even gave you the name. The ancient, and remember I said the with the name, doesn't matter. And it also has a phrase in here. This is the festival right here, right? So this has to come. I'm going to highlight it green. There's your pair. So this is X3. Done. Let's find this Pope. What Pope are they talking about? X3. Wow. Okay, so there you go. So we have the Pope right here. Do you see one by one connected? And then this is X4. Okay? And now all we have to decide is, because this right here ain't going anywhere, right? It is not going first. I'm sorry. It's not going in the middle. It will either go first or last, right? Either first or last. It can't go in between anything else. Does this sentence look like it can go first? Yes or no? No. It doesn't look like it can go first, so we're done, right? So this is going to go five. So we got one, two, three, four. Did you see that we were not intentionally find, trying to find the first sentence? We, I don't know if you saw, but for me, when I see this, this, and the, I'm trying to find those pairs. And when I have that paired up, it doesn't really matter where you put it. You have points, and we were actually only left with one. We're only left with one that um, we didn't know where it went, but... It was either first or last. And you knew it wasn't going first because of the way the sentence is structured. Same approach, right? Today, we're not looking for first sentence first. Let's use the same approach. Do we have any does or pronouns in here? Right away when you scan through. These new. These new what? I'm going to highlight the whole thing. These new. Okay, so this is the first one you guys pointed out. What was the next one? I'm assuming these is the same as these new um, super earths, right? Uh, the team, the team, the team. Where did you see the team? Right here. Right here. Look at that. Excellent. And then um, these planets. Right here. Is that right? Oops, let me change this color. Uh, I'll go back in one, one minute. All right. Is that, is, that, is that it? Four of these planets. 
and then the team and these new super earths we will be right back we just found three pronouns uh, two pronouns and one the okay another five one of the five okay let's highlight that that's a that's a phrase it might not connect but i'm going to highlight it for you just in case let's go let's look for the ones that are not phrases first let's look for this these new super earths the first one where do they first mention super earths right here right super earths there you go there you go okay i'm going to pair this up real quick i'm going to call this x1 and i'll call this x2 okay so since we are here it says four of these planets these planets what planets are they talking about you see that you see it what is the word five planets right they found five planets let me make that the same color okay they five they found five planets right and four of these planets these planets right there you go and this will be we gotta go zero again <laughs> we gotta go zero uh, no not three not three this has to come first not three does that make sense this goes and then the super earths go and this is x zero this will be zero all right and then we also have the team the team where is the team hey numero uno right here uh we're going x negative one again <laughs> All right, X negative one. All right. And then now here, once again, what are we going to do with this? Is this going to, you know, you can't insert this in between, right? We can't insert this in between. So this is going to either be first or last. Can this sentence go first? You guys are already starting to answer it. Can this sentence go first? No, right? You guys are answering last. So let's just put this as number five. And then we go to negative one. This is first. We say a team here and we paired it up with the team okay so this is number two number two talks about five planets and this one talks about these planets and this is number three all right and then number three talks about super earths and we got these new super earths okay so that's the pro that's the approach that i have been taking um when i can see that many linking words does that make sense if I get a reorder paragraphs and right away, there are certain things that I'm programmed to look, I'm, I'm, I'm asking myself to look for, okay? There's certain things that I'm telling myself to look for. This is not all of them. There's a couple more things that we need to do, okay? But if I see a sentence with that many pronouns, that's the first approach that I look for, okay? When I say pronouns, I also mean the the, okay? Um, this, I hope it helps you. This is only one part of it. It's not gonna be 100%. But first of all, what the hell are we doing right now? Am I showing you a, a secret to PTE that I discovered? Hell to the no. All right, I'm not showing the secret. What am I showing you? I'm showing you the rules of writing, right? This is not something PTE created, right? They copied these paragraphs from somewhere and they reordered them, they shuffled them around. But whoever wrote these know how to write, so they must follow the rules of writing. So it's not like PTE, or tr they're trying to trick us with some complex um, paragraph writing. No, they still have to follow the rules of writing. And when we do reading, I do the same thing, right? To fill in the blanks. I'm not teaching you a secret to, to PTE. I'm showing you grammar rules. And the grammar rules have to be followed in order for them to write a sentence. So we're just moving backwards, right? And um, so I never try to show you magical techniques for 90 and shit. No, 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 no. We still need to improve ourselves. This one looks intimidating why because they got a whole lot of words but nope 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 we take it easy we know what we need to do relax and find those clues all right all right so um again i'm not sure what technique you're applying but i will show you of course i need to stay consistent so i will show you what i see in this that will help me put it together right now, I see this right here, that pocket, that pocket, what pocket are they talking about, right? And then I see the it, it, this right here, just like they. Earlier, we saw they, they abolish and they auction. Okay, so it, this right here looks like it might be talking about the same it. 
because it said it auctioned, auctioned land, and it abolished contracts. Let's find that first. What can abolish contracts? What can cancel contracts, right? What is the it that can cancel contracts? And then what is the it that can sell land? Government. Government. You guys see that? Agreed? Done. So let's decide if this, if this it is talking about the same thing, same thing. Uh, which it goes first? It or instead it? How would you speak English? Which it goes first? So this will go first, right? All right. So let's go with this X1, X2, and then instead it goes three, right? X3. Okay. So let's find that pocket though. Let's find that pocket. Where's this pocket? There you go, right there. Right? There you go. Now, if you didn't know where to look though, if you didn't know where to look, you wouldn't be looking everywhere. Please remind remind yourself, you're not looking, you ain't looking here for the pocket. You can't. You can't look here for the pocket. You maybe you can look here because you ain't put nothing in here. There's nothing that's gonna um go between this. So the only places you would look for a pocket would be here or here. That's why it would be fast. Okay. And then now we have a pocket right here. So let's just call this C1 and C2. Done. We are done. Between X1 and C1 is the only ones that can go first, right? Which one do you think goes first? C1. Okay. We can even prove it. Why? We can even prove it because, oh, what is that? What is that? They gave you another one. The government. What government are they talking about? Lima Capital. The capital of Lima. You see that? The capital is always the capital, right? It's always the capital. That's not a reference. So you see, when they say the government, there's your reference right there. We also have another connection. We don't need it though. We just needed to know which one goes first and we are good to go. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Does that make sense, ladies and gentlemen? Once again, I didn't cover everything. I covered two main components, okay? Two main components that will help you, the the and the pronouns. There are actually more things that I actually talk about. But again, if we talked about like, let's say all five things that I look for, you probably wouldn't remember any of that anyways. Right? You're not going to remember none of that shit. But I talked about focused on two things today and we drilled that in, practice over and over. And hopefully that helps you with the reorder paragraphs. All right. I hope the information was helpful. I know the video was a little long, but I try to cut out as much as I could. And I left the information that I thought were important for you. And if you want to see more tutorials like these, please check out my other videos. Once again, my name is Sonny. And this is Sunny English. Please remember to subscribe because this is where you're going to find real tips and tricks on how to get your PT score. All right. So give me that like, drop a comment below, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.